Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a foundation battle. I promised you guys this video when I reviewed the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. If you missed that review, I will leave it in the description box down below. But today we are going to be putting it up against the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation to see which one kind of outwears the other. These are supposedly two completely different foundations, but we're gonna put one on one side of the face and one on the other side of the face, see what the finish is, see how they sit with makeup, and then see how they wear throughout the day. This is one of my favorite foundations ever because it is waterproof and it's long wear, it's full coverage, it's just all of the things. This one has a lot of the same features as this one, but it's supposed to be medium to buildable coverage and has more of a natural matte finish and this one is like a true matte finish so that's the claims on these but we're gonna see if that's actually the truth because when i reviewed this i was like it really reminds me a lot of all nighter like i'm really not seeing like a huge difference you know so i you know there's only one way to find out to see if this one wears as long, looks as good, covers as much, you know, all that, um, to see if it's worth having both or you can kind of go one way or the other, you know? So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna wear it throughout the day and then we're gonna see who wins Urban Decay versus Urban Decay. And um, yeah, we're gonna just see which one is better. So if you guys want to see these two foundations go head to head and see which one is better, then keep on watching. Okay, so we're gonna prep the skin. I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Oil Free Primer, as well as the Tatcha Silk Canvas to prep my skin. For All Nighter, this is a full coverage, modern matte finish that never looks overdone. Long lasting wear, a blowout effect you never thought was possible. Perfect for all night affairs. Demi matte, oh no, most of their products are demi matte, but this one is completely matte. And it's oil free. They loaded the formula with pigment. A little goes a long way. It's waterproof, paraben free, diffuses light to blur flaws. For beautifully perfected skin, it mattifies, absorbs oil. There are 24 shades of this, it appears. So this is that one. All right, so then we have Stay Naked. So let's look at the packaging side by side. Um, first of all, the Stay Naked, I don't like this that this cover gets so dirty. Like for some reason, the silver one doesn't show like the prints as much as the gold. I will say that I think the Stay Naked packaging is much prettier, I mean much prettier. This one is a weightless liquid foundation. It has 50 shades and it says it lasts up to 24 hours. Waterproof, long wear, feels like nothing, breathable, flexible, moves with you all day all night, stay true color, minimizes the appearance of pores, 100% cruelty free. So those are the two differences. This is supposed to be a natural matte where this one is a complete matte. So we are going to put them to the test side by side today because I said I would and that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna apply all nighter to the right side of my face. I am using shade 4.0 in this but I did put deepening drops in to match it to the naked skin or the stay naked because the shade I have is much darker than the shade I have in all nighter. So I didn't want to walk around looking like an idiot. It's not really going to affect the formula at all. It's not changing the coverage and it's not changing the longevity, which are the two things that we're looking at today. Because that's like the most important thing for me in a foundation. And if you watch my channel, you guys know, I talk about that all the time. Like for me, it's about longevity. Because a foundation can go on my skin and it can look stunning, but if it like starts breaking up in five hours, like that's never gonna work for me. I'm not somebody who ever wants to mess with my makeup. Like, I love putting on makeup, 
But once I'm done putting it on, like I want to be done. You know what I mean? I don't want to touch up. All right, so that is the all-nighter. It looks beautiful. It is full coverage for sure. It is matte, but I never thought that this foundation was like, like Kat Von D lock it matte, you know? That shit is matte. It's matte, but I don't know. I like it. I've never had an issue. It doesn't get caught up in the corners of my nose, which I really appreciate. I just washed my brushes, you guys. Oh my gosh. It had been a while. <laughs> Something very satisfying about clean brushes, though, I will say. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and apply the Stay Naked. I'm using 51NN, and I'm just wiping this brush off. There's really not much left in it, but I am gonna use the same brush which is not going to really be that big of a deal. But again, 4O is not a direct match for 51NN. 51NN is like, if 4.0 is like your white, like winter shade, then 51NN is like your super tan summer shade. And seeing that it's August right now, <laughs> you can see my body is far more tan than it usually is. All right, so that is that, and I'm just going to blend that out. Okay, can I be totally honest right now? I don't really see a difference. I don't. That's so interesting. They look really similar to me. Don't they look similar? What do you guys think? Ooh, I, I need to blend this down. <laughs> little spots right here there we go okay so for the naked for the all-nighter I mixed a couple of drops of this in which is the infallible pro glow but I only used a few because I didn't want to mess with the um, finish or anything I just wanted to change the color this is the naked the Stay Naked side, and this one is much deeper in tone than 4.0 is, so that's why I had to do that. That said, you can see that, um, I don't know, they, they look pretty similar now. So, I think that, I don't, I don't know, is this a neutral undertone? I don't know. How is the undertones? What do they describe it as? Let me see, let me see. Okay, so 4.0 is considered medium, but it doesn't say anything about undertones, so. Um, right now I think they both look identical. Both sides look identical. It's gonna come down to wear. Like, because right now, like, just looking at it, the finish on these two foundations is oddly similar. <laughs> is it me? All right. I'm just gonna put on the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back so that you guys can see how it all kind of looks together. We'll assess what the finish of the foundation looks like with all the other products. And then, of course, I'm gonna wear it throughout the day and we're gonna see what happens. Like, are these two different or are they the same? Because like the Stay Naked is supposed to be like a more medium to buildable coverage and the All Nighter is supposed to be like full, full, full. But I, I only put one layer of each on and I can't see a difference like at all. Let me get closer. Do you guys see a difference? We have all nighter, stay naked. I don't know you guys, I, I'm not seeing a difference, but maybe when all the other products are on, we'll see a difference, I don't know. I will go and do that and I will be right back. Okay you guys, so this is the makeup look. 
honestly, well, let me tell you what's on my face. So I have the Naked Skin or the Stay Naked Concealer that goes with this. And again, if you didn't see that video, I will link it down below and you can see the concealer in action. I used the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder, Fenty Bronzer, Rimmel Blush, the Urban Decay Reloaded Palette is on my eyes, Pure Cosmetics Lashes in the style Flirt, I have a Rimmel Eyeliner, a Rimmel Mascara, the lip is L'Oreal Matting Call with Angel Alessandra from Charlotte Tilbury mixed with Fuel 2.0 from Urban Decay. Oh, and the brows are CoverGirl's Micro Pencil with a BH Brow Gel. I will have this prob look probably on Instagram maybe. The details should be there. So this is what the makeup looks like. And honestly, you guys, both sides of my face still look identical. The same. Exactly the same. I do not see a difference right now whatsoever. Um, the finish looks like maybe a tiny bit more, um, oh, I didn't say what highlight, what highlight did I use? Oh, I used the Glowing in Grease highlight from BH Cosmetics. Um, but this side looks like a tiny bit less matte than this side but like such a small amount that you probably wouldn't even notice yeah it is 12 30 right now so i'm gonna wear this and then i will check back in with you guys later and we'll see how it wears because that's really gonna be the that's gonna be the thing because they look identical right now so i will check in with you guys in a bit hi guys <laughs> It is currently 9.30 p.m. I'm so tired right now, so I wanna take this makeup off and I wanna go to bed. So I figured we would do our last looks now. Let me take a look-see. I literally have not been paying attention to my face or my skin all day long. It's been 113 degrees in Vegas today, so I've been out in it. I went to Costco, I went to the gym, I did not do cardio outside because, I mean, who does cardio in 113 degrees? Like, you can't do that. I did go to the gym, so this is the first time I'm really paying attention, yeah? So, this is very interesting. Okay, so first thing I can see is there's a ton of redness on this side, around my nose. And there is zero redness around my nose on this side. So, the Stay Naked did not hold up around my nose. Um, also, there is a bit of caking in the crease here. And there's a little bit on this side, but not a lot. Aside from those two things, you guys, these two sides of my face look identical. My forehead looks beautiful on both sides. This whole area of my face looks beautiful on both sides. All of my makeup is still there. My highlight is still there on both sides. My bronzer is there still on both sides. My blush is there on both sides. I'm not like super shiny. I have a little bit right here, but it's just like a little dew. Like it doesn't look bad and I have some glowiness on my forehead too. Um. There's a tiny bit of redness kind of right here, but like my dog was licking on me, so like I'm not even going to pay attention to that really. Like when I look overall at my face, there isn't a ton of difference except for this side of my nose didn't hold up as much as this side of my nose. Just that area though, that my under eyes look great on both sides. My pores look great on both sides. Nothing settled in lines on either side. Like both foundations are equal. Like the Stay Naked doesn't hold up quite as long as All Nighter. And I'm judging that based on what's around my nose. Because literally, let me see if I can get up close. Let's see if you guys can see this. I don't know if you can see 
that redness right there and the little bit of cakey right there and on this side there isn't you know what I mean there's a tiny bit of product gathering right there but not as much as this side that said I mean <laughs> you can't really go wrong either way I think both foundations are beautiful. If you want something that's truly gonna last a very, very, very long time, All Nighter still outlasts the Stay Naked, but the finishes are so pretty. I mean, I'm not mad at either one of them. Like, you know, this is one of my all time favorites. And I think this one is, you know, it's gonna stick around it's gonna stick around I think that they both they went toe-to-toe -to -toe. it's you know if I have to give a winner I would give all-nighter just because of what's going on with the nose I think stay naked did you know a really good job I mean this is way better than their naked skin in terms of longevity coverage finish like I don't know I like this so much better so I think that basically they took this foundation and they made some tweaks in it to make it a little more natural and came out with this. And I'm not mad at it. For people who really don't like a really matte finish, I think that you will really like this. If, especially if you like the coverage and long wear in a foundation. I think you guys are going to like this. And again, if you didn't see my full review... I actually did a full review on both of these foundations, although I haven't seen the review I did on this in a very long time, and I have no idea what I, if, if it's cringy or what, it probably is. I don't know why, but like, I look at old videos, and they don't even have to be that old. They could be like a year ago, and I'm like, oh, God, what was I doing? <laughs> Why do I do that? I don't know. But anyway, the review I did on this is like a couple years ago, and, um, the review I did on this was like a week ago so anyway I'll leave the links I don't know if I'll, I'll leave the link for all nighter but I'll definitely leave the link to the stay naked review since that one's really new and um, and by the way the concealer I used was the stay naked concealer and it looks awesome like I I actually you know I've really been testing it out and at first I did not think that I liked it as much as I eventually have come to like it it's very elastic like your skin like it doesn't ever look like I have concealer on like it looks like I don't know how to explain it like it doesn't look like I have concealer on at all it's a very natural looking concealer as it as it settles into the skin and warms up to the skin and I feel like that's true with the foundation too like it really just like once it warms up and kind of settles in it really just kind of takes the form of your skin and I don't feel like this look on like my base looks super glam but if I took this off you'd be like oh shit okay you know what I mean like my skin tone is even the redness is you know kind of obliterated aside from the fact that I have no more lipstick on because I ate and you know obviously that side of my nose but Aside from that, I mean, I have redness all over my cheeks. I have enlarged pores. Like, I have uneven skin tone. And this really just takes care of it, and it doesn't make it look like I'm super made up. So, like, Stay Naked is the kind of foundation you can wear with literally, like, a coat of mascara and a lip balm and just look like you woke up like this, you know? But you can also really glam it up. Hashtag not sponsored, by the way. I just, I've always been really big into the All Nighter Foundation. So, of course, when Stay Naked came out, I was so excited. And I did say in that video that I would do a side-by-side -side wear test. So, I did want to do this for you guys. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm getting off camera looking like this because every time I look at myself on the monitor, I'm like, oh, girl, do something. <laughs> Wash your face. I don't know. But I'm going to go to bed now. So, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you never miss when I upload a video. You can follow me on social. My handle is at Glam Latte. And don't forget the Glam Latte Beauty Podcast is on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, CastBox, and 
iHeartRadio. All those details are in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. I just want to hold you. I just want to look into your